Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design. And in today's video, we are gonna cover the last topic I wanna cover for the January update to Fusion. And this is the AI powered fastener detection for automated drawings. Now, I do still have plans to do an entire video on automated drawings. I just don't really do drawings that much. So it's just really low on my list. But with this tool or this update, I thought it was important that we talk about it so we understand what it does and how it's different from what currently exists in automated drawing. So the first thing to note is that automated drawings already omit hardware, but there are some specific problems associated with that. Uh, so in this design here, um, I just tossed a bunch of stuff in here. So we've got external components for a base and a lid. We've got some hardware that comes from McMaster and we've got hardware that comes from the Fastener library. And basically what we do is if we take a look at this table here and I bring in the part name and description and just put that stuff in here. Uh, basically what we can see is that we've got parts that are called washer. We've got parts that include the term uh, screw or bolt. You can see here, this one's bolt. And then we've got this one component here called screw retainer. This is number eight. Uh, so the screw retainer is the problem that we have with the current way that the AI hardware detection works in it. Well, in the automated drawing. So this is why there is an update. Uh, so we're gonna walk through how that works and why. So right now, if we just create a new drawing template, we're gonna do this from scratch. And if you're creating drawing templates in Fusion, there are smart templates where we create base views. If you're doing this for automated drawings, you do not wanna create those base views because it already takes care of that for you. What you wanna do is go into your document settings and you want to take a look at the automation settings. So basically this last column here is going to give us settings for the sheet type. So main assembly, sub assembly, animation, which will be something like an exploded view, uh, individual components, sheet metal folded, sheet metal flat pattern. So as you build out your templates, what you can do is start to include some of these sheet options for very specific types of models. And generally what you would end up doing is if you do automated drawings a lot, you would create templates for sheet metal parts. You'd create templates for assemblies. You would create templates for exploded views. And then you'd be able to use those on those types of models. So for example, if you're making a lot of fabricated sheet metal parts, or if you're making a lot of machined parts, or if you've got more sort of organic complex shapes that you're not going to detail with dimensions, then you may create different types of templates. But the big thing or the important thing for the topic that we're talking about here is this omit components name keywords, and then this detect and omit fasteners. This checkbox is the new thing, and this is the way that it works right now. And essentially the problem is anything that has the word bolt or screw or nut or washer in it, even if it's a small section of a larger word like walnut, they call this the walnut problem, it's still going to omit it. And that's why we've got the situation where the screw retainer component has been omitted. And I'll show you that in this drawing. So basically what happens is anything that says bolt or nut or screw or washer is going to get omitted from having a detailed drawing view of itself. So we've got a top level assembly, we've got the base and the lid, and then nothing else. Uh, what we really should see is we should see an additional component for this number eight here, which is a screw retainer. So the way that we get that to work is with the new settings for the AI hardware sort of um, detection. And what we do is we check this box and we wanna get rid of anything that's in this little dialog box here. And the reason for that is because we don't want it to go through and still find everything that says nut or washer or screw or bolt in it. We only want it to use the detect and omit fasteners. Now, detect and omit fasteners works a couple of different ways. It, it is looking at insert fasteners from things like the, fat, the insert fastener tool, but it's actually, I believe it's looking at geometry as well. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do AI template. We're gonna save that. And I'm gonna, once it's saved, I'll close it. So let's go ahead and go back to the simple housing and we're gonna create another drawing. Once again, automatic. This time we're gonna use a template. So AI template, we'll say all levels include external components and we'll say, okay. Now, once again, it's gonna start, we can look at the job status. And once the status is done, we can open this. 
So remember that the way that it works right now is it's looking at specific names, nut, bolt, washer, screw, and it will omit any component from having its own drawing sheet if it contains that. So again, if you had a wood component that the description was walnut, uh, then that would be omitted. It wouldn't have its own drawing sheet. Um, however, with the AI fastener detection, it will be able to recognize that that component is not actually a nut, it's a description uh, walnut. So in this template, we should have a drawing sheet that does contain just this specific part, which is gonna be that nut or the bolt retainer, screw retainer, whatever it was called. Um, so again, that's the big difference between what happened with the way that it works right now with using the exclusion list and the update, with his, which is this checkbox for detect and omit fasteners. Uh, there have been some other updates to drawings, things like there's a new crop view. So that's something that exists in Inventor, but it hasn't really been in Fusion. And there are, of course, other tools in here that we can use, like the um, the tidy up options, which is part of automated drawings. There are plenty of other automated options in here, like tables. These things all are sort of in this package of automated drawings. And even if you create a manual drawing, you can still go back and use things like tidy up or auto dimension and just do them manually. But for the automated drawings, um, basically what we're gonna have is the auto dimension list and you can pick from different dimensioning styles. You can drag these things around and add or remove dimensions. And of course you can manually override this, but these are all sort of part of the bigger picture of automated drawings. So if you have any questions on this AI powered fastener detection that's been updated in January, 2025, or anything in Fusion in general, please leave a comment and let me know. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.